Okay, hello kids. So our lesson for today is about describing outcomes in a simple experiment. So before we discuss about uh, describing outcomes, let us first see our learning objectives. Number one, we have to record favorable outcomes in a simple experiment. Number two, express the outcome in a simple experiment in words, symbols, tables, or graphs. Number three, explain the outcomes in an experiment, okay? So when, you question, when questions arise related to chance of something happening, you are dealing with probability. So what is probability? So probability is the measure of how likely it is the sum event will occur. A number expressing the ratio of favorable cases to the whole number of cases possible. For example, a chance of a coin landing on head is 50%. This is because a coin has two sides, so there is a 50% chance that the coin will land on head and 50% chance a coin will land on tail. So probability could also be written in using fraction. So for example, just like this, uh, tossing a coin. So we are going to also, you are being asked, what is the probability when you toss a coin that it will land on head? So the favorable outcome or the possible outcome that it will land on head is one. The total number of outcome is two because we have two possible outcome, which is the head and the tail. So the denominator would be two. So it's one half is also the same as 50%, okay? So again, uh, probability could also be expressed in a percent, in a fraction, or a ratio. So some common terms related to probability. First, experiment. So what is experiment? It is a situation involving chance or probability that leads to result called the out outcomes. See the pictures below. These are some examples of experiments when you do it yourself. For example, when you toss your, a coin, when you roll a dice, and when you spin a spinner. So that is an experiment. Okay. So the result is the so-called outcome. Let's say, for example, you toss a coin, then it land on head. So that is an outcome. Okay. Then the third one is equally likely outcome. So this one is, is all the outcomes with, with equal probability. The best, best example of it is when you toss a coin. So the head and the tail has equal probability of outcome. Okay. Next, we have the probability of, of an event can be described as certain, likely, equally likely, unlikely, and impossible. So in some book, the equally likely is written as even. So it is the same, the equally likely or even. Okay. So again, it is described as certain. We have here certain, likely, then we have equally likely, unlikely, and impossible, okay? Next, a probability of one means that an event is certain to happen, meaning you are 100% sure that it will happen, okay? So next, we have a probability of zero means that an event is impossible to happen. Next, you have the probability of one half means that the event has a 50-50 chance of happening. So let us see this picture. So this one is the best example or the example among these three. So when we say certain, you are 100% sure. Let's say, for example, I, I have a set of marbles in the bag. All of it are colored black. Okay, so I'm going to ask you, what is the probability of getting a black marbles from the bag? So for, that is the best example of certain because all the marbles in the bag are all black. Okay, so you have, you have no chance of getting any other color except black. Okay, next, 
probability of zero means that an event is impossible to happen. Let's say, again, we have 10 pieces of black marbles in the bag. So 10 pieces of black. Then I'm going to ask you what is the probability of getting a white marbles from the bag. So of course, it would be zero because there's no white marble in the bag. Okay. Then we have the one half or the 50-50 chance. Just like what I've said, the best example of this is when you toss a coin. So a head and a tail has an equal chance of uh, coming out when you toss a coin. Okay. Then we have the term unlikely. What is the term unlikely? So when you say unlikely, as you can see here on the number line, unlikely is in between of impossible and the even chance. Okay, so meaning it is less than 50%. So from 1% to 9% uh, to 49%. Just like this example, we have here a die. Okay, so a die, we all know that a die has six numbers on it. Okay, one to six. So what if I'm going to ask you, what is the probability of one or of getting a result of one? So we have one as a result or one number in, in a die. And then we have six numbers in a die, total of six numbers. So the denominator would be six. So we have a one six of getting a number one from a die. Okay, so that is the probability. So one six is unlikely because it is less than 50%. How will you know that it is less than 50%? Look at the numerator. If the numerator is less than half of the denominator, it is less than 50%. Okay? Next, the word, uh, we have the word likely. Okay? As you can see here, we have five marbles, four blue, and one red. So if I'm going to put it on a bag, then I'm going to ask you what is the probability of getting blue marbles. So because we have more, more, more blue marbles than red marbles, you have a bigger chance of getting a blue marbles, right? So that's what it is. Uh, that's, that's what it means by likely. As you can see, likely is in between certain and even chance. So meaning likely has a 51% to 99% chance of getting that result, okay? Next. So I have here a set of cards, okay? So give the probability of the event as described in each. A box containing the number cards below. So the number cards are, we have 10, 11, 13, 10, 14, and 10. So let's answer uh, some questions about it. Okay, number one, picking a card with the number 10. So in creating a probability, just like what I've said earlier, a probability can be expressed as a fraction. Okay, so let us count. So one, how many 10 do we have? So one, two, three. So there are chance of three, uh, three chances that you will get a 10 or a card that contains 10. Okay, then we have six cards here. So we have six total outcome. So that would be the denominator. Okay, so because this is a fraction, so just like what we've learned in a topic of fraction, when we deal with fraction, you should write it in a simplest form. So one third could be written also as, or could be simplified as one half, okay? Next question. Number two, picking a card with an odd number. So before we pick a card with an odd number, so let us first identify what is odd number. Odd numbers are numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So we have here 11 and 13. So we have two odd numbers from the six set of cards. So that is 2, 6, or 
Again, simplify it into one third. Okay, because it's a fraction. Next question, question number three. So picking a card with an even number. So if this is an odd number, 11 and three, so an even number is a number that ends with zero, two, four, six, or eight. So we have here 10, another 10, we have 14, and we have 10. So we have four, odd, uh, four even numbers. And then we have six total cards. Then we have four six as the probability or simplify it into two third. Okay. Next. Picking a card with a number more than 14. Look at our numbers. Is there a number that contains or is there a card that contains more than 14? There's none, right? So the probability is impossible or zero, okay? Because we don't have a number that is more than 14. Question number five. Picking a card with a number less than 13. So those number less than 13 is 10 and 11, right? So me... It says less than, so meaning 13 is not included. So we have four cards that contains a number less than 13. We have 10, 11, 10, and 10. Then six as our denominator because we have a total six cards, total of six cards. Next, simplify your fraction. So four, six could be simplified as two third, okay? Next, last question. So picking a card with a, no, a, more, a number more than 10. So a number more than 10 are 11, 13, and 14. So we have three cards that contains number more than 10. And then we have total of six cards. So our probability is three, six, or simplify it into one half. Okay, is it clear? Next. So this one is what we call spinner, okay? This spinner has different subjects on it, okay? So we could also use this on giving a probability. So refer to the spinner to find out in which subject the spinner is more likely to stop. Number one, science or math. Which do you think, uh, or which do you think, which subject do you think has a bigger chance? Is it math or science? So let us count how many science do we have? So we have one, two, and three. So we have three science on our spinner. And then we have one, two, math, on our spinner. So meaning we have a bigger chance of getting a science as a result when we spin this spinner, okay? Because there are more science than math. Next, Filipino or music. So how many Filipino do we have? So we have one Filipino and then we also have one Music, so meaning it is, they have equal chance of, or so it is equally likely. Number three, so reading or science. So let's count, how many reading do we have or how many reading do you see on our spinner? So we have one reading and then we have three science. So, so we have a bigger chance of getting a science as the result, okay? Next, number four, Filipino or reading. So we have one reading and one Filipino. Okay, so meaning it is again equally likely because they have equal chance. Okay, next, number five, math or music. So 
as, a, as we've counted earlier, we have two math on our spinner and we have one music. So meaning we have math has a bigger chance of coming out, okay? So I think that's it for today. So thank you and have a nice day.